Riddles? Riddles, yeah. Yeah, that's well, that's the thing, too, is that we haven't seen those two go at a big major or even go head-to-head -head right. in that level of space. But, I mean, but when it comes to consistency, I think Naito definitely takes the cake, and the IE definitely really no slouch here. But let's go into the, Enough about the IE here, because it's got Slicer from the San Diego. And space player from a region I am not familiar with at all. Right. So here we go. Now, Robin, or Robin, Krom versus uh, Snake, you know, uh, this is going to be it sounds like It sounds like you were trying to tell me an OTP from, like, Fire Emblem. Crobin. Crobin, yeah. yeah. Everybody's favorite OTP, Crobin. Yeah. Crom Every Crom Robin relationship from Fire Emblem Awakening. I mean, to be fair, like, if you do female Robin, like, that is, like, if optimal you, pairing. If, optim you, if you do Rob if you do a Crom like this, that is yeah. optimal for Snake. All right. I mean, oh, my God. Like, Slicer is just, you know, busting up Crom up open with the can opener at this point. Oh, I Ooh. like that. Waits for that tech option to see what he can get for a follow-up. Uh, gets the grab off of the dash attack, and you know, and not following it up with anything because he knew that he would pull out the grenade, but unfortunately, he still falls for it anyways. And so, you know, Slicer's just really, you know, cutting Krom up into the open right now. Here we go. Doesn't tech the last there. And yet again, he's just falling for all these grenade setups. And, you know, space is already at almost 100%. The dash back, he's gonna read the landing here, and he nearly goes for the forward out like the fact he kind of keeps himself safe here. Doesn't want to go for too much of an overzealous fold, but Slicer turned things more into his favor because he's now three stocks up against Ace. I like what he did there. He waited for you know, Krom to throw out a move, throw out a hitbox, and be like, okay, I'm gonna up tilt you because you threw yeah. out a move that was nowhere near hitting me. Exactly. Yeah, I throw, gets yeah. control, sets up the up smash, looking for the edge guard play. Ooh. I like that he wanted to see his panic option. He knew he was cornered. When you have an animal right. cornered, they're going to be making that one opportunity to survive. Okay. And you know what? Now he has data for the next time because they're like, okay, you, you shielded this time. No, next time I grab <laughs> you, I'm going to just throw up up smash once and then like wait for you to normal get up and then I'll throw you off stage. Yeah. And when you have Chrome off stage and then you force him to use his double jump, like he's a dead man. I do like the fact that Space kind of had that patience there waiting for Snake to land. That's what I talked about earlier when we, had, when we saw Snake on the stream. You kind of have to have that patience against Snake when he makes a landing because he's going to come down with grenade. He's going to have C4. He has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Watch how he's going to land and then find the punish. And here we go. No, I'm um, finally finding a dash attack. But you know what? Snake's like, okay, I'm off stage. Let me like retreat to the sky. Yeah. We're not going to Rashido yet, Ooh. but you know who will be? is Space. He's yeah. definitely going up to the skies. Uh, Snake has his own lawnmower. <laughs> he does. Yeah. That's what makes this character top tier, right? Snake has a lawnmower at all times. Yeah. But it, it would probably be the Cypher. Yeah. Somebody should make a 2GG mod where Snake is wearing the 2GG logo and he has the lawnmower as a yeah. Cypher. <laughs> Come on. That's, that's actually really cool. Dude, and like every, cool every, every time like he air dodges like below the ledge so that the Cypher just flies away, you just hear the Rashid theme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you just see it fly off. Somebody make that mod. That's oh actually a really cool mod. Somebody like like photoshops like Champ's face onto Snake. <laughs> that's, that's, you know what was a good mod when somebody made Nairo as ZSS? Oh my like god! Like he was actually ZSS as a mod. That was actually a really smart mod. Yeah. Here we go. Going with the Lucina. You know, definitely. Uh, I feel like Lucina is definitely a lot better choice than uh, Chrom. Mm -hmm. Like I said, sometimes when it comes down to these sword characters, you gotta be gonna have to be careful when you hit Snake if he has grenade, because your sword will also hit the grenade as well, right. and that'll activate it and just get an explosion in your face. Good pummel there, and you need to capitalize off of the up smash and the knee palm. So that's what I talked about. You gotta be yeah. careful with it. That's one of those things the sword characters do struggle a little bit against Snake, but they don't struggle, especially with Lucina and Krom, is that percentage threshold that they need to make to stop Snake All from right. the cipher. And yet again, quick bearer off stage. You know, Snake is. Uh, out of sight for everybody. He gets the follow up on the edge guard anyways, and oh, he drifted in too early for that yeah. bear. You know, if he had just believed in himself a little bit longer, you know, waited for him to like kind of come closer, he definitely could have gone that bear to finish off the stock. Ooh, there's the quick down tail, and yet again, waiting for the option. I like that, going for the neutral B, the shield breaker, in case he just landed with shield, just to, you know, shield pressure him at that point. Yeah. Wait for the landing, I like it. Yep. And yet again, oh, being man. a little bit too aggressive, and you know, <laughs> Slicer is seeing that opportunity to just let it rip. He lost track of the C4. You got kind of not paying attention to it. If you lose it, then you will surely pay the price. And you don't pay the price for taking well in place, but unfortunately, that directional air dodge was going to give him too much end lag to make sure he can try to recover again. All right. And it's just one of those things where, like, you have to tech it, but, you know, Snake, when he gets that up B, you know, he only gets that, like, certain drift at the very beginning of the move. So I yeah. feel like he kind of got. No, pineapple almost. 
I feel like he will also try to directional air dodge so he can get hit by, by uh, Lucina's up B and then try to attack and make a recovery again. Ooh, aggressive there to finally land on something with him. And ooh, a quick up air to just interrupt Lucina's landing right there. Ooh, gets the grab throw. Not going to be able to quite combo into the grenade, though. But wow, grenade exploded. Uh, it's something you rarely see like snakes do on their own. Ooh, that's going to be punished. And he, a, he read the uh, roll option, he but did, he, he did. didn't believe. He didn't believe, and he hesitated, so he ran back. And oh, <laughs> but he believed that it, that would land. Oh, man. You have to believe, especially when you're in that low. Sometimes Snake will just pull out all the stops to make sure you have to be the one on the safe, on the safe side. Right. And it again, here we go. Not going to be able to fight the cannon, nah, but falls the for the four tail. Yeah. Almost gets the axe kick. Sets of the grenades here. He knows he's going for the platform, and I like the fact that he's trying to, trying to confirm off the backer yet again. Yet again, here we go. Nice fair. You know, all he needs is just one more solid hit, oh. but he manages to air dodge back into stage. But the up tilt will do it, you know? I feel like I feel like Slicer got lost in his own sauce, pulled the grenade, and then he just didn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't Z drop it, he just pulls the grenade. All right, cool, I got it, and then he just loses it. I mean, sometimes snakes just do that. They'll be, oh, he did not. You're see. right. Sometimes snakes just do do that. Yeah. Maybe like, haha, I know you're going to approach. Goodbye. It's not even that. It's the fact that he kind of had him focus.